Hi y'all, it's Linda again. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'll be four weeks out on Tuesday the 17th, I believe it is. I just wanted to give you a quick skin flick and tell you how I'm doing. Well, I'll start out with the skin. Not sure how good this will come in. But, um, oh, and these are my incision sites. They all look really good. They're healing up really well. You almost can't see a few of them. This one. And this is my drain site, the one I had all the problems with. You can still see my adhesive rash. But it's healing up, but I don't have any pain any longer at all. This is my belly. Now, I started this in December. I was 305 pounds, and my belly stuck out past my boobs. So I've lost quite a bit of weight. And this is, of course, the lower part. I'll turn around. You can see where I've lost. It's indented here, and this is loose. It used to be really full. But it's loosened up quite a bit. I'm not going to be one of those people, lucky people whose skin tightens. It's just not going to happen for me. This is my back. It goes back here. I've got a little bit of a roll here that's going down. It comes down, but mine stops right here. My hip bones are right here, and I, I've always been able to feel them. But that's all my glory, so to speak. See, my bruising is almost, compared to what it was, it looks amazing. Yep, there. I've been doing really good. Um, getting my protein and water in. Ow. Not walking as much as I should, but I've been busy babysitting. I've had kids, you know, during the day and then in the evening till 8 or 9 o'clock. And then I'm tired and don't want to walk. Which I guess I should make them get out, out there and walk with me. But well, we're going through a little bit of a rough patch, having to move and not having the money to move. Just one of those things. We'll have to figure it out as we go. I've lost, see I was 305 pounds in December. My surgery weight was 248 and I know I've lost about 11 or 12 pounds. I was weighing myself every day constantly so I gave my son the scale and told him to hide it from me. I'll just, I'll find out Wednesday when I go for my um, one month checkup what my weight is. I'm going to try to only weigh myself once a week. I know it's hard. It's like we're junkies and got to see what that scale says. Plus, I'm getting ready to start my monthly, so the scale's going to go up a few pounds. All this damn fluid that us ladies retain. Plus, I've got, let's see if I can get it down, thrush from the, I've been battling it since a few days after I got out of the hospital. And I can't. She's given me a couple different medications, and now we're trying a third one. This is the third one we're trying. So far, it seems to be doing it. But it's disgusting. It's this thick, nasty white coating on your tongue. It makes everything taste awful. You can see it a little bit. It was just coated. Ugh, it's just gross. So that's my fun. Um, I posted a few recipes, or well, one, my chili recipe, and I, you know, I've been talking about my protein and how I get it in. I really like that, um, ricotta bake, it's Shelly, it's Shelly's ricotta bake, and then Egg Face has a recipe for it also, and I've been eating, you know, lots of yogurt and cottage cheese and things like that. I'm able to eat steak. I had some, two or three bites of my son's steak today. 
and it went down great. It settled great, but I cannot eat chicken. I had the most tender, juicy rotisserie chicken, and it felt stuck. It was awful. So I'm staying away from the chicken. Let's see. I'm still doing one, at least two protein shakes a day trying to get my protein in. It just takes me a while to drink them. I really want to get, once I'm able to eat, I want to get, I'm trying to get my, I want to get away from the protein shakes and get the majority of my protein from my food. I know it'll take a while because I'm, you know, I'm, you know, we're not able to eat. We're not able to keep, you know, that much in us. So I'm going to, I'm working on recipes. I printed off a bunch of high protein bariatric recipes and I definitely want to try that chicken crust pizza and then the cheese and cream cheese crust pizza. I miss pizza. I stole the toppings off my son's the other day. And, um, sorry, I got a message. Just looking forward to being able to eat more, a bigger variety of things as time goes on. You know, soups and stuff are all good, but there's just no substance to them. You know, I got to chew the chicken from a cream of chicken soup. You know, that went down okay. You know, a tuna fish with a little bit of mayo on it. You know, that's okay, but need a little bit more. But I just wanted to show y'all my my loose skin and my, my jiggly parts and you all have a great day and I will talk to you all later.